stuck a clock with Josh. What up, Poopa? Welcome back to another episode of Talk O'Clock with Josh. I am your Josh. Josh. We're live in the recording studio, shaped like my fucking car. So, I'm in my car because my upstairs neighbor is an insane person. I talked about it in an earlier video, uh, how he called security on me for doing nothing. Well, while I was laid off, he ended up calling the cops on me. And the cops came to my door and said that there was a noise complaint from upstairs. Said there was like, could hear some sort of banging. I have no idea what that could have been because I was just sitting on my couch watching TV at volume four. Anyway, the cop came and he told me to quiet down and I was like, okay, I'll try. And I could hear the fucking dude upstairs throwing a temper tantrum, like pounding on the floor and fucking screaming. Anyway, when I was coming back from the flood that happened, that I had to evacuate my home, this dude was leaving the apartment building as I was coming in, and he has another fucking meltdown. Dude's 60 years old and fucking yelling at a 25 year old in a parking lot. He like tried to challenge me to a fight. He said that the cops in this country are shit and they don't do anything. He also said that he was from Colombia and he was gonna bring Columbia law down on me or something like that even though this dude told me twice in conversation that he was from Barcelona, Spain Then he like started screaming over and over again how much of a piece of shit he was What the fuck does that prove buddy literally like the next day? I was coming home from work and One of the downstairs neighbors stopped me and she was like hey Why was there a dude screaming over and over again how much of a piece of shit he is? Apparently she got it on Snapchat, and I should have asked for that video because that would have been just excellent. So yeah, ever since I came back from the flood, he's just been being a huge piece of shit and uh, like stomping around and just like yelling, making noise and shit. So now I'm recording in my car, cause he just won't shut the fuck up. Don't worry though, I'm working on finding a new place to live, getting my own space so I can uh, I can record freely and not have any interruptions. So yeah, that's just a little personal story that I wanted to let you in on. And in fact, that's what this whole video is gonna be about. Getting to know Big Papa Pooh Butt himself. So I'm back to work now, working a six and one schedule, so recording is getting harder to do. Luckily, I'm on 10 hour shifts and not 12 hour shifts, so I do have a little bit of time. But recording is hard because I can't do it in the morning before I go to work, and I can't really do it after work. But, since I'm back to work now, I wanted to give back to my community. So I'm gonna try to pick, for every video that I make, for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna try to pick a charity and donate to them. For this video, I'll be donating to the Fort McMurray Food Bank. Shout out to Mary May. I'm gonna donate $100, and for every like that this video gets, I will donate an extra $10. So if this video gets seven likes, I'll donate an extra $70. So that'll be a total of $170. So I figured the best way to get to know me is looking at Facebook posts that I made 10 years ago. So this one is just, Josh Randall is at mom's dying of boredom. What, would, what was I going for here? Trying to get attention? Trying to actually get my friends to interact with me on social media? I also made like a whole album where I just took a bunch of selfies of me sitting on my mom's couch. So this one is captioned, chillin. Man, I had such fucking long hair back then. Here's one where I'm just, it just says, burping again. Cause you know, sometimes you burp and then sometimes you don't burp. Oh, here I am being the coolest person ever and rolling my eyes into the back of my head like I'm the fucking undertaker. Oh man, dude, I was, I thought I was so fucking cool with this FBI shirt, the feminine body inspector. Dude, I was like fucking 13 and I thought I was the fucking shit, dude. I thought I was so cool. I thought girls were gonna let me touch their boobs. So this, <laughs> so this one is captioned, 
me and my wicked WWE posters, and I'm throwing up the fucking Jeff Hardy, dude! Cause I love Jeff Hardy, he was my shit! Here's a status I made, lemons are sour and so are cats. Um, I don't remember what this is in reference to? Must have been pretty funny at the time though. Oh my god, <sighs> Cringing at old Facebook posts. Whoop whoop whoop, 15 today. Yeah, that's a little over enthusiastic, but whatever. Anyone wants to wish me a happy birthday, call, and then my phone number, which I'm gonna blur out. Just, just begging for attention. Trying to get it anywhere I can. Oh, I remember the story behind this one. Talk about your wrong place at the wrong time. I did not piss on a cop car. So yeah, I was sitting in the park chilling with my friends, and this fucking cop comes up to us, and he's like, is your bladder relieved? And we're all just kind of like, huh? And the cop is like, is your bladder relieved? You pissed on a cop car. And I'm like, what the fuck? No, I didn't. I've been sitting here. I'm, si I'm 15 years old. I'm sitting on a park bench. So he like tries to detain me, I guess? And my friend stuck up for me and he's like, no, we've been sitting here for like an hour, dude. You're out of your mind. You have no evidence that this guy pissed on a cop car. And then he's like, oh, all right, just, just sit here. You're not going anywhere. And then he gets on his little fucking radio thing and he radios the other guy. And I guess they found the guy that actually did it. But it was just a super piss off that I was fucking blamed for it for no reason. I'm guessing someone told the cops that some guy with red hair pissed on a cop car. And I was wearing an orange shirt, and he said I was wearing a red shirt? How does red hair translate to red shirt? Can't have the AC on because that would be too loud for the recording and I'm dying! Here's one. Does your penis have tuning pegs? No? That's because you play piano. I don't know ex exactly how it came up. That was a joke that me and my friend Jeff had back in high school. Because we both play guitar, and guitars have tuning pegs. Here's one that I still super relate to. I might go insane from video editing. Ugh. Josh, 10 years ago, I'm in the same boat, dude. I still fucking hate video editing. Still fucking can't stand it. So I went on social media to ask people for some questions that they could ask to me that I would answer in a video. So here's one from my buddy Bell at Gay and Vaping. If you could only listen to one album for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I've been thinking about this ever since he asked it. And honestly, it's really hard to pinpoint just one album that I would want to listen to for the rest of my life. So hard to narrow it down to just one. I would say probably The War on Errorism by NoFX. Just an all-around good album. Wolves and Wolves Clothing by NoFX. That album by NoFX is also a fucking front runner. So here's one from... Our good friend at Talk O'Clock, uh, Bailey on Twitter, at Smables, what is your full astrological birth chart? Google will hold the answers. So this is a weird one, I've never really looked into my astrology too much. I try Googling and I can't really find it. I'm a Cancer, I was born on July 5th, 1994, please don't steal my data. Did I put that? At Smables also asked, do you believe in ghosts, why or why not? I'd say I believe in ghosts, I believe there's a... Uh, there's an essence left behind after you die. I don't know if it can necessarily take on a physical form. It might just be the essence. So I got a couple questions from my friend on Facebook. He prefers to stay anonymous, so I'm going to leave him anonymous. If you could work in adult entertainment, would you? Why, why not? What aspects of your life do you feel it would impact the most? How about retirement? Plans post-porn? So if I could work in adult entertainment, I so would, dude. Getting down for money, bro. That's what Big Papa Poobot really wants. I'm hoping YouTube can just be a gateway to me doing porn. What aspect do I, of my life do I think it would impact the most? My bank account, baby! How about retirement? I'd retire and do YouTube again. Ha <laughs> ha! If you could eliminate one human trait from existence, what would it be and why? Just, like, the fucking ego, dude. The fucking entitlement shit. I talked about in the Karen video. That shit drives me nuts, man. The world does not owe you anything. Life owes you zero things. All right, you can take out one individual from the whole of history, but it has to happen in the most comedic way possible. Who and what? I would say that I would take out Donald Trump and he'd die in a tanning booth, like in Final Destination, because he looks like Chester che Cheetah. Chester Cheetah? Is that the, the Cheetos, Cheetah's name? 
So I got questions uh, from my friend Anna on Instagram. Her and her boyfriend were doing a road trip or something, and uh, most of these questions are from her boyfriend, and a lot of them are pretty fucking hilarious, so I just, I love this. What is the weirdest thing you've seen in someone else's home? One time my friend was trying to bu buy a bow from a dude from the internet. So we go to this guy's house, and we go in, and his entire home is covered with taxidermied animals and animal furs. Just everywhere. Every fucking square inch of this dude's house was like fucking deer and antelope. Home, home on the range. That was his home, dude. There was like a fucking zebra skin on the floor. Is it even legal to hunt zebra? Do you put toilet paper on the right way or the murderer way? I put it on the right way. The right way to me anyway over the top, never fucking under. But of course, I think that my bathroom was designed by a person who stands up to wipe their ass, and I'm a sitter when I wipe my ass. The toilet paper holder is like, acro like across from where you sit on the toilet. So I don't even put my thing on the holder anymore. Yeah. It's just too inconvenient. I can't get it when I'm sitting down. But yeah, always over the top, never underneath. People are driving by. It's super embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. Another weird one from Anna's boyfriend, Jonathan. If you are out in the bush with a friend and you've been lost for a day, do you kill your friend and eat him to survive? Do you wait to defend yourself if they have a se the same idea? Or do you die out in the bush together? Um, I think I'm in favor of waiting it out. I don't think I'd like immediately kill someone after one day of being out in the bush. I've also read a couple survivor style books where it tells you how to like make tools in the in the bush and stuff. All this porn in the world, people fucking their family members. How often do you think this actually happens? I think that's a really exaggerated thing in porn. I mean, everything in porn is exaggerated, obviously, otherwise no one would watch it. I don't think it really happens all that much. Maybe in Steph families where the older dad marries a younger woman, but yeah, I don't think it happens all that often. I think it's just a weird kink that some people have. Who would you rather be, Yoda or Darth Vader? I think I would rather be Yoda. I've always leaned more towards the Jedi side of things in terms of Star Wars than I do with the Sith, and also Darth Vader is kind of a tragic character. Like, he has all this negative connotation around him. And despite all those dreams I had when I was younger about killing children, I do not actually want to kill children, which is something that Darth Vader did. I got a question messaged me on Twitter, and I'm also going to keep this one anonymous for obvious reasons. I just had a buddy get out of jail, and I'm almost sure that he was sodomized. And now he's talking about being sober and settling down with a wife and kids. Do you think he's deflecting because he doesn't know what his true feelings are? That's a fucking loaded question, dude. He could be deflecting, of course, but at the same time, you don't know for sure that he got sodomized. If he did, and he immediately got out of jail and started talking about this kind of thing, then yeah, I think maybe he's, uh, he's just trying to prove kind of that he's not that person. He might also be trying to distance himself from being a victim, but that's real subjective, I think. I, I would have to know more about the situation, but that's not to say I want to know more about the situation. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook. I recently got back into Instagram, so you can follow me on Instagram. If you want to support the show monetarily, I have a store at talkoclockwithjosh.com. Link will be in the description. Hit that like button one time for me! <laughs> Leave a comment if you want to ask me a question, or if you have any suggestions for what charity I should donate to next. And if you want to make big... Papa Poo, but the proudest Papa of all. Hit that subscribe button and I'll have a ball. I was just off the cuff, baby. I'm a musical genius. So remember, Poo Butts, it's all gonna be K. Bye.